One of the th key differences between Asia and Africa is that Asian governments spend about eight times more money per farmer than African governments do on their farmers. So it's not surprising, therefore, that productivity growth in Asia is rising rapidly, whereas Africa, it's not rising very much. Uh, so um, one of the key upshots of this is that African governments really need to invest more in agriculture R&D uh, to benefit smallholder agriculture. This is not rocket science. It's really a matter of putting more resources into the technologies that make agriculture thrive. It's not just fertilizer and improved seed, although those are super important. Uh, the, there's great yield potential in, in improving seeds. And in the United States, every three years, uh, a seed becomes obsolete. That's how rapidly technology is evolving there because after three years, there's going to be a new seed variety that takes over that's more uh, productive. Many uh, African farmers are using the same seeds that they used 20 years ago. So it's a very slow rate of seed development uh, and yield growth uh, achieved from that. Another key part of uh, technology is in management, in the way that farmers manage their soils, in the way that they uh, crop rotations. Uh, these things may not seem very sexy, but they make a big difference about soil quality and the ability to improve yields.